concerned about what's happening in the Middle East. But yesterday we heard, we get here on the Middle East in a moment, but first, yesterday we heard the Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, at Congress saying that North Korea's nuclear effort is the top threat to the United States. What would you do to deal with that reclusive country? I would get China to make that guy disappear in one form or another very quickly. And let me tell you, people say, How do you make him disappear and assassinate him? Let me just tell you, no, well, you know, I've heard of worse things, frankly. I mean, this guy's a bad dude. And don't underestimate him. Any young guy can take over from his father with all those generals and everybody else that probably want the position. This is not somebody to be underestimated. China has control. I'll tell you why. Because China has control, absolute control of North Korea. They don't say it, but they do. And they should make that problem disappear. China is sucking us dry. They're taking our money, they're taking our jobs, they're doing so much. We have rebuilt China with what they've taken out. We have power over China. China should do that. Now, we Iran, could force the Chinese you know Iran, to take care of North Korea? I would force the Chinese to do it How economically. Do? Economically, Charlie. They're sucking the money out of us. We have a trade deficit this year with China. Five hundred billion dollars. They're taking money out of our country. They're taking our jobs. They hold all our debt too. Well, you know what? I mean, they we owe them. Think of it. They take our money. They take our jobs. They take our base. And guess what? We owe. We owe them one point seven trillion dollars. Okay. But we have a lot of power over China. Don't underestimate. So you were saying to Nora's question, you would leave it up to the. Chinese. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't leave it up to them. I'd say, you've got to do it. you got to do it. And if they said no, gonna, you would I'd do I'd be very what? tough with them if on trade. If they said no, what would, would you do? I would very strongly stop them from ripping. I'm going to stop them anyway to a certain extent, but maybe I'd do it a little bit more forcefully. Yes. One other thing. We make that horrible deal with Iran. The closest partner of North Korea is Iran. Why didn't we put something in there when we're making a deal and when we're giving them $150 billion dollars? Thinking, why didn't we do something with Iran, where Iran gets in and we force Iran to get in and do something with North Korea? We don't do anything. We should have, when we made that deal, that deal is a horror show. It's one of the worst I've ever seen. When we made the deal with Iran, why didn't Kerry say, look, you've got to help us out. We have a problem. North Korea, he's playing around with nukes. Because nukes, that's the whole game changer, Charlie. You know, if it weren't for that, we shouldn't even be in the Middle East. But we can't take a chance that somebody plays the nuclear game. So. We should have done that also. Yeah. But China, in the meantime, has tremendous power over North Korea, and they take right. our money. So we have power over China. Ted Cruz, Syria, may be, off the, I would, yeah, well. Syria may be off the, the front pages, but the situation there is terrible. It's Still awful. Dire, yeah. We have the Defense Secretary, Ash Carter, in Brussels convening leaders there tomorrow, including Arab states, asking them to do more. They say that we need more U.S. leadership, that we should commit U.S. ground troops. Should we commit U.S. ground troops? Well, you know, Syria is a whole different thing, and you look at what's happening. I, I view ISIS as very important. And I love the fact that Russia is hitting ISIS. And as far as I'm concerned, they've got to continue to hit but ISIS. But you know what Russia is and, doing and you know in Syria? Russia is hitting, no, they're hitting the both. groups that we're backing. Sure. And why are we backing the group? We don't even know who those people are. I speak to generals. They're saying we're giving billions of dollars of equipment to people we have no... Here we go again. Mm. We're no. giving all of this money and all of this equipment to people we have no idea who they are. They're probably worse than Assad. I mean, I'm, Assad's no baby. He's not good. But who are the people that we're backing? Here we go you again know with Libya. That's President Obama's argument. Yeah. Well, we I think don't that's know good. who the weapons you know, will I mean, fall into, whose hands. We have no idea. Well, why is he doing that? I mean, he's giving them a lot of weaponry, and we're backing people that want to knock out Assad. Russia and Iran, which is now a power, we've made them a power, they're backing Assad. We've got to get rid of ISIS. We've got to get rid of the people that but are chopping off everybody's head. You say you have, have a good relationship with Putin or would have a good relationship with Putin? I think I would have a very good relationship, but, but who knows? So I mean, could you, you know. convince Putin to get Assad to step aside? Well, they've been trying to do that. Could I? I don't think it's that important, to be honest with you. I think, frankly, let's say you get rid of Assad or you knock out that government. Who's going to take over? The people that were backing and then you're going to have, like, Libya, mm -hmm. right? You, you take Gaddafi. Oh, we have to get rid of Gaddafi. Look what happened after we got rid of Gaddafi. Look what happened after so we got rid of Gaddafi. getting rid of Gaddafi Saddam. was a mistake. It was just, yeah, it was, to me it was a total mistake. mistake. I mean, Benghazi, Benghazi was the least, look, look at what's going on over there, it's a mess. Nobody knows anything about anything. You look at, you look at Saddam Hussein, we get rid of Saddam Hussein, the terrorists, it's the Harvard so of terrorists. So getting rid of Gaddafi and getting rid of Saddam Hussein were both mistakes. Had we not done anything, had our politicians gone to the beach and enjoyed the sun, we would be in a lot better position than we are right now. Saddam Hussein, no good guy. 
but Saddam Hussein killed terrorists. Now Iraq is the Harvard of terror. You want to become a terrorist, go to Iraq. They'll teach you how, okay? Saddam Hussein was a bad guy. But, you know, one other thing he did, he blocked Iran. I mean, once you, once you knocked out that section, all of us, and I said it in 2003, 2004, I was against the war. I said, you're going to have total, it, the Middle East is going to be a mess. They used to fight forever. They couldn't move. They'd go 10 feet one way, 10 feet the other. Now you have a total destabilization in the Middle East because we knocked out one of the blocks. Well, What's the difference in your appeal and and Bernard Sanders' appeal, because they both are appealing to arguments, they seem to be receptive to arguments against the establishment. Well, I think I am a little bit against the establishment, and he probably is also. I tell you, the one thing we have in common is trade. The only difference is he can't do anything about it, I can. He knows that China's ripping us, and he admits it, and he knows Japan and Vietnam, that's the new one on the block, by the way, they're ripping us big league in Mexico, and I do too. The difference is I can do something about it. I it's, will take those deals and make them it's great. It's great to have you here. Yes, yeah. thank you, It's Donald nice Trump. to be with you, Charlie. Yes. We hope nice that you'll return. You. Yes, come yeah. back, I will. You'll return. I will. And I'd we'll love be... to do it by phone. I mean, if no, you're no, no, phone, no, 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 no. How about it's some phoners? It's good to see you in person. We want you to get dressed in your pajamas and come. I'll be back. I'll be back. We'll see you at the debate on Saturday night. Good. as well. I look forward to it.